What's up guys, this is your boy Rusian with another Raid Shadow Legends video. In this video, starting a new series of pretty much how to play the game. If you're a new player, this video is for you. Uh, if you're mid-level, maybe, and most of you are planning to start a brand new account. Uh, late gamers, not as much, uh, but I will be having videos more for late game and everything. What, where's, I'm just getting to it, so... Well, anyway, the best thing right now is we're going to start a brand new account. And if you guys want, you can follow with me. And the purpose for that is to try to use your resources better. That's a big mistake everybody makes in their accounts. I made a lot of those mistakes. But after having about 10 free-to-play accounts and testing different things, I may have found one of the best ways to go about it. Now, again, every other player may have better ways or at least different ways of uh, cross that bridge. One thing you guys have to understand, I'm not again spend money in the game. I do have a low spender account, my main account. And honestly, you guys have to remember, that's how they keep the servers going and the game still going after over five years. So, anyway, let's start my new account. All right, guys, so right now we're in the point that we're gonna choose our first champion. Uh, that's pretty much the guy or gal that will be carrying you until pretty good to like mid-level mid gaming, okay? So, our choices are Atel, Gallic, Kyle, and Elhane. First of all, uh, I would say Gallic is not the best, but it is the worst. Okay, the other options are good uh, in their own way, but pretty much the best all around will be Kyle. I do, I did start my first account with Elhane, and I had no complaints. She carried me for a while in this game, but Kyle, in the most, if you go against a clan boss, you need a poisoner. It's something you don't know if you're gonna get a decent poisoner for a while, so you probably want to go with him. Plus, he's a pretty decent nuker. So that's what we're gonna choose right now. Uh, you guys can choose anything. Just beware, avoid Gallic if you can. Uh, even big content creators uh, during the Hell Hades competition, Pick this guy and they regret it. So, anywho, all right, Kyle, I choose you. All right, so right now in the beginning, you will pretty much be doing what the gamer wants you to do. Everybody gonna be getting uh, the sniper. I mean, that's that set up this way. You gonna go to your first battle. It's pretty much self-explanatory. You're forced to do what Arbiter is telling you to. So, you just pretty much follow what is being said. Alright. Right now, one of the first things, just go straight to 2x. It's going to make things a lot faster and just click Auto. You don't have to worry. Uh, in the most of on those first fights, you're way stronger than those guys. You're gonna destroy them pretty quick. So no worries, just go straight. All right, perfect. Go to the Bastion. Champions. All right, you're gonna equip. I actually hate equipping this. Uh, I do wish Plarian allowed you to just not do it or have a choice where you can just not have that guided uh, tutorial because a lot of people already play the game they may just be starting another account and they still are forced to go through those motions what is really unnecessary so okay it's on auto now if you guys are new you you need to understand auto is really good but there are fights that on manual you would be able to win or at least three star 
and if you do on auto it may not be the case the eye is marked but it pretty much just goes through certain motions all right the worst armor ever and I have to upgrade okay all right so how are you getting some goodies this is actually great um, that's one in the lowest levels that's probably one of the best armors uh, including with the speed set it'll shop anything free is good so as of right now uh, you have a choice by the way you guys have 72 hours to pick uh, a free champion so basically a promo code use a uh, new player promo code so 72 hours uh, of the game you get one now right now the best two um, it would be Sun Wokan that is great in the arena and Ninja now in certain ways I would rather take Wokan uh, my reasoning around that is there he's a different affinity than Kael what it means in some of the battles uh, he may actually keep Kael alive and vice versa now the problem with not getting ninja right now is ninja probably gonna go to the vault and by the middle of this month of august if you do not get ninja you may not be able to get him again or at least for a few years so since sun wakan is on the pool for uh summoning we gonna get ninja and the promo code is Ninja returns. There you go, we got some goodies. So the other thing, now, if you guys are uh, playing on your iPhone, you would have to go to the playing website to actually redeem these codes, okay? Uh, I am using my MacBook, but I'm actually using the Plarian Play app. All right, so great. Cough the Arbiter, another resource, uh, another resource for resources for you guys. But basically, you get a lot of that stuff. Now, should I actually get any of this? Not right now, okay? And pretty much because that energy, I rather keep to when I actually run completely out because I can allow the game to replenish my energy and I'm, also, I'm not going to be playing 24 hours a day unless it's a competition like beginning of this year so it makes no sense for me to come in here right now and get those resources okay so if I was to get any and I'll get one just show you guys um, all right so let me say I can already get the three days XP. XP is not a problem to get right now because pretty much after the first few days you're gonna have enough uh, XP boost for a few weeks of playing. So you just need to click on share the app episode and click copy. You don't actually have to share. So you click copy, copy to the clipboard and click in, you got those and watch the episodes to get this reward you just need to click go to youtube and you get 50k per right per video all right so get out of here let's get our man ninja get those resources Now, connect an account to player ID. This is great. Now, this barrel will fill all your uh, your levels, right? For how many stars your champion has. I would probably advise you not use that until you six star your champ. And then, as soon as you do, just click on the barrel and you get him to level 60. 
I have in the past by stupidity, I would say. He is on level 50, but don't do it. It's not, not worth at all. All right. Now you can claim, like I just did. Tavern's not open, but you would. It's a resource you can use in the tavern at any time. Not the case to use right now. All right, so let's go battle. Oh, another thing. Before I go battle, very important to keep uh, your eye on. And that's what we're going to be working um, right now. Always keep your eye on the missions, right? So the first one is clear stage 7 of the Carrick Castle. So pretty easy. We're going to be clearing anyway. And as soon as we do that, we need to pay attention on the following. Because you have, it's best on the first week to try to clear as much as you can because some of them are dependent on the day of the week. Okay, so I'll show you guys better. Uh, don't need to fill your minds too much about it, but always keep check and try to complete as many as you can as you complete the campaign. Alright, so let's go. I will change Sniper. I have no need for her right now. I'd rather have Ninja leveled up. And here we go. Now, I guess probably asking yourselves, why didn't I put another champion? Well, because the XP is divided by every champion on the team. So, let me say if I was getting 8,000 XP uh, for the whole fight, I'm the, I'm getting that 4,000 for KL, 4,000 for Ninja. If I have a third one, this is also divided to him. So, they're not getting 4,000 anymore. They get about... I'm saying 2,500, 3,000, whatever number it is. Right now, my aim is to level those two as much as I can. And at the same time, three-starring every single dungeon. Because it makes no sense for me right now to be leveling food um, when I don't have to. And all right, so cleared level seven of the Kerrig's castle. Now, War Priest, uh, by the way, everybody gonna be getting her. Uh, she's not a horrible champion in a lot of ways. The only thing is I would never star her over level f uh, five stars. Pretty much uh, she helped carry me a uh, long way, my first account but she's really not worth it. So right now, campaign mission complete. Perfect, equip a champion with six artifacts. All right, so we just got some gear for completing the Carrick's ca uh, castle. And that's what we're gonna look. Mostly, it's pretty decent equipment. I believe it's always the same. It's a uh, HP boots, attack, attack, and you got a bunch of crit rate, speed. Th those are not, that's not really good gear. Um, I will equip, actually, I'm probably gonna equip uh, Kyle right now. Hmm, weird, right? Yeah, no, actually, I'm gonna get this guy. Now, Kyle, right now, is a lot better than him in some ways for certain dungeons. But, I expect, or I hope at least, to get better equipment for him in the most uh, at lower levels. Alright, so level 4 or higher. That's pretty easy, just going here. Get to level 4, upgrade. Now, one thing that player really needs to change is instant upgrades only unlock in a level 40. I understand why they do it, or at least why they did in the beginning of the game. 
Uh, and basically it's because if you just put to level to level 12 and I have too many failures, I don't know until the amount of silver is deducted from my account, right? So I get it for new players, but a lot of people playing this game, they already have accounts. So I really wish that this was optional. Kind of like in the beginning, if you choose not to have a guided uh, tutorial, this would open for you. All right, so clear save seven. That's where we're at anyway. So, and see, that's why you want to be following some of those things. Now, if I had cleared, it would just have cleared. It doesn't matter if uh, I wouldn't have to clear again, but it's not the same case in some stages, and that's what I, why I'm getting you guys to follow with me, right? And by the way, all the gear you get right now, do not sell this thing. Uh, it's not gear you're actually gonna use, as per se, but you're gonna realize that some of those missions and some quests, they will actually require you to put a certain equipment. Um, and it's best for you to put some of those equipments because you can just get rid of without selling, uh, get destroyed if necessary. So, and just skip for now pretty much everything. All right, so Taverna locked, right? Let's go in here. Now, I have resource. Like I said, I have the barrel right here. I have some resource. I could actually level Ninja to be able to clear dungeons faster, but it's not the case because soon I actually gonna have a mission requiring me to actually use Bruce to level one of my characters, one of my, yeah. So hold on to everything and let's see. Oh, Novice Tournament. All right, so I just gained one energy pot. Do not touch this for now. You do not need the most because, so what happens is my max is 39. If I actually get this pot, I'm only getting 39 energy when later on when I actually need it will probably be worth a hundred by the time I actually need the energy so don't touch for now um, in due time <laughs> you, you, you'll know all right so next battle All right, so next one, equip support type champions with four life artifacts. Crazy, that's our support. We just got the artifacts. Now, I will pick probably the best for her right now, or if not the best, at least. What I just got as a gift. Pay attention to those as well, just claim everything. Um, I used to worry a lot about those challenges, and some of them are worth the most the the dungeon ones, but I feel like it's time to wait. Alright, so, it, okay, support, now I have to level. Now, the thing is, in this case, it would have been okay for me to level the artifacts to four, but there are cases that it will require you to actually level on the spot. So leveling before you get the mission, the most of the beginning, it's not really worth it because you may have to waste silver in something you don't want to. Now, also this mission, at least in this case, you could level a one-star equipment, right? And if you do that, it's fine and actually you spend less silver to do so. 
So pretty much, in some cases, I don't have anything that is worth leveling to 12, and I may pick some garbage piece of equipment and level to 12 just to keep it on the cheap side. And in most of the beginning, beginning, well, even late game, okay, saving silver is almost impossible. So use four XP brews on the tavern. See, right now, that's one of the missions that if I had to use four, I would actually have to use four more. Okay? Some of five champions. I do have nine. All right. Clear stage one or higher of the Arcane Keep. That should be pretty easy. Just put a five. Basically, uh, you on the keeps and everything, you don't get this much uh, XP. Not as much as in campaign. So as of right now, I just add some of my champions and I get whatever I get. All right, level 10. Clans unlocked. <laughs> All right, so clans, right now. So let me explain a basic thing. Uh, when you're looking for a clan, I would say if you're on the Discord, uh, let me say on Hell Hades or anything, you can probably search for a clan. Some clans may help you. Uh, in my case, in the beginning, I am actually looking at a clan that has at least 20 do not show, show full clans uh, clan level let me say level 6 and that's an activity let's say people are fairly active in the game All right, may not find anything. Hey, there you go. Level 13. This may or may not be a dead clan, but you do have at least uh, a lot of players still pre-involved. And actually, all players, for the most part, are active. That's not bad. Now, the reason why you want a little higher in the most 13 is perfect because that allows me eventually to be able to get a free void chart so not bad hopefully I don't get kicked out for being too low level all right stage 7 of Nabuk and let's go Now, Dungeons Unlocked, that's pretty good. Um, so, one thing I need, it's good for you, to, you guys to check uh, when you start getting about level 10 above. So, let's go to Bastion. Alright, so, tournaments, you're only going to have one. Tomorrow, um, I may actually be lucky and have some of the other ones opening for me now tournament gonna be uh, I believe it's about four to five days this is gonna be on I think it's almost a week so any tournament that is available for other players will not be available for you but that those challenges in here they may actually as they open they usually are available so one of the things now is dungeons. So it says level three, 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 two of the void keep, three of spirit, and three of arcane. That's great. We can actually clear that. Do we have to do it right now? Not really. But do I want to keep my hands on this mystical chart? Yes. Mystery chart, sorry. Ancient, Jesus. Ancient charts, sorry. Yes, I, I do want this. So, 
Probably gonna hold up right now, but soon, if I feel I get to a point that I need a break, I'll probably just run there. Woo! Okay, Arena unlocked. I not the big fan of Arena, um, but it's a very necessary resource because this will actually give you bonuses on the Great Hall. So as soon as it's open, yes, I am going to the Arena. Uh, those fights are basic fights. They will pretty much pick the easiest ones or maybe those are always the same fights. So you need to, before you actually fight, put your defense team. Uh, my defense team going to be... That's it. That's my team. And... Not much to say. <laughs> Alright, so my offense... You do want to have someone that's going to give you uh, an R skill. So skill in battles, 15. That's the only guy. That's the only one I actually have. Start on now too. Alright, three for me is enough right now. And basically because you will have missions that will require you to actually fight in the arena. So you don't want to burn all your tokens. All right, another mission complete. And I complete all daily quests. So upgrade a rare champion, uh, rare attack type champion skill with a skill tome. We just got one. That's another case. If I didn't wait, if I had instead of a uh, Completed the other mission, I had gone and upgraded, I would not have a skill tome. Well, maybe. I would have two. Unless I use both. So I'm gonna use both on the end, Kyle. I want to get them all done as soon as I can. Get a refer link. That's pretty easy. You just have to click on it. And you're done. Now... Just one second, let's go and talk a little bit about referral programs. All right, you send those referrals to your friends. Uh, this link's for your account, right? If they actually click on the link and use the link to download the game, for every 10 levels, you will get a reward. So, and if you get three friends to at least get to level 10, you will be getting uh, Jamarza, which is a great Jamarza, I believe, which is a great champion. So, this helps plus getting void shards and uh, ancient shards, those would be great. And if you get three people to get to level 50, you get an extra one, and it opens a whole new section that can get you Cronin. All right, and they keep they. By the way, they're gonna try to sell you everything. See, resource I don't mind getting. Yep, not a problem. Just this one. Don't click on. If you do by mistake, that's fine. You 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 survive. Same thing. This I will keep until tomorrow, right before reset. Alright, so next mission, fight three times on Classic Arena. Pretty easy fight. Next, unlock the Mastery. It's going here. Got some crit rate, unlock, done. 
Stage one of Labyrinth. Okay. So Labyrinth is where you're gonna be getting the scrolls to be able to upgrade your masteries. So this is probably a place. Now, I'm not going to focus on Minotaur Labyrinth. Uh, I could, but that's the thing. You will be saving as many gems as you can. You don't have to do what I'm telling you. But I'm telling you for a reason. You want to unlock masters mostly for your two main champions. Definitely for the first one. And if you're thinking that the first one going to be Ninja, that's probably a no. And mainly because getting the books to upgrade Ninja skills are very hard in the low level. Now, very easy for me to be able to upgrade Kael and get the maximum off him. So second, maybe Ninja, it's gonna depend uh, what champions I actually get summoned in between. So something to see, but right now, I already got that. Uh, we need to fight one time at Minotaur same thing as before just throw those guys in there okay did it say level 3 or 1 I believe that's the third one. Oh, twice okay so you don't need to go on one, just go on the second one, it's fine. At those lower levels, I don't mind about adding those other champions. Uh, when you get to a higher stage, uh, you probably don't want to have those other, those other ones because they may steal your scrolls. And if you're there, you want to focus on your main heroes, your main champions. So. So those are three stars missions. Um, so in this case, I already did them. So I just skipped. I should have shown you guys. Uh, but now, win one of each type of life artifact for clearing Karak's castle station north. All right. So I have to go back to the first castle to clear. But before that, let me just show you guys the great hall. So. This is what you want to complete as much as you can, as fast as you can. Because you will be getting bonuses for your champions, so you don't have to use from gear. And this will allow you guys to pretty much progress a lot farther. And you can only get those bonuses, getting the tokens from uh, the different arenas. Basically because the basic one, affinity bonuses, you get from regular arena. And area bonuses, well, not unlocked right now, but you get from live arena. So, right now I don't have anything to unlock. Even if I had, uh, I probably would have to save because one of the missions is to get one level, I believe, from one of each one of the attack levels. So, another reason why you need to save those resources. Alright, so next, alright, Carex Castle. This is complete, pretty quick. Alright, equip another champion with six life artifacts. Not a problem, so in this case, since I will not need any of those artifacts, I will pick the worst ones. Because if I pick anything higher, I may want those. So for you to be able to remove, you actually have to spend silver. So I'm just going to use whatever I can that really makes no sense for me to keep anyway. 
And there you go. Rare attack type with six artifacts, eight or higher. Now remember, it's asking for a rare attack type. So every time you have to complete a mission that the equipment set that you really don't need to use or you don't want to use, uh, try to use the least amount of stars. Unless it's something you're actually gonna keep in your champion. Because then, first of all, you can just get rid of it. Second of all, it's not as expensive for you to actually level compared to a uh, three star, four star piece of gear. Sometimes you have to bite the bullet, but if you can avoid, probably best. Now, going to level eight usually will not use as much, but trust me, there are certain points of the game that every single amount of silver will matter. Another mission completes. Next one, three stars, every stage. I only have one, I believe. Oh, I missed this one. So like I said, guys, that's a problem having the same affinity with those two champions. We know on a feature of Sewers of Amok. Now, jumping around like this cannot be avoided uh, in this case. Most of the times, I will try, but it's not the case in here. Alright, same thing in here, equip another attack type. What equipment we pick? The worst. Now I can go back <coughs> and actually put back those boots. I could wait, but the only reason is uh, they do give me speed, what I definitely need. <coughs> <coughs> Alright, so the events open, what is great. So I have Summer Rush. Now, the events for brand new players, not all of them, but some of them, not this one for example, you a lot of times your requirements are a lot less but those are requirements for a fusion so the requirements are mostly the same artifact enhancement i believe is less but it's great because you can get a couple of goodies okay great Alright guys, so that's one of the points where you start losing and one of the reasons, in my opinion, is because they're both the same affinity. So I will replay the stage and I will not use an auto. So I can actually pick my fights. There you go. All right, so we passed this one. Last one should be fine. Hopefully. So big mistake, I should have stopped right there and I should have come back. So I do need to get four critical rate artifacts. 
Now what I'm probably going to do, it's a little bit more resource, it's 5, but you have a chance to get higher level uh, equipment. So I need 4, alright. Alright, one more mission, next one. Win total of 3 lesser potions from Spirit Force Magic or Void Potion Dungeons. So, which one I gonna go? Well, I need magic. Because I need to be able to get a couple of stars on those two, so I can get some bonuses. Complete, stage 7 of during normal, complete. Wing Gotlands with attack percentage do take forever times. But it's only the gauntlets, so there should be fine. Alright, now that I got to level 30 on Kael, I really don't need him, because right now he's just sucking whatever XP, right? So what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna get some of those rares to food. I'm sorry, not rares, uncommon. All right. Oh my God, this took forever. Okay, this complete. One or higher, three times. Ice golem. All right, two. I'm not probably going to try three, definitely not, in the most swift data affinity. So I'm gonna fight again on two. Just complete the mission. Uh, later on, and the most when I get the right type of gear. Because right now, I really don't have a healer. I can't really say she's a healer. At least not one that is consistent and can get me high enough. Alright, another mission complete. Four champions with six artifacts level 8 or higher. Alright, finally this mission is done. This mission is just to suck resource you don't have, but it's something you have to complete. So right now, defeat twin champions in classic arena. And that's one of the reasons why I said you need to save your arena tokens. Should be able to come in here. Alright, pretty easy, pretty easy mission to complete, but that's why you don't want to be going too far in the arena, because levels get harder. Upgrade a rare attack type champion to level 30, which is pretty easy just by following those other missions. Upgrade two artifacts to level 12 or higher. Let's do this. Mainly, I want these boots in the most because they will use, uh, since they're epic boots, they may use better. And that's a, a boot that I'm actually going to be keeping. Now, you cannot just pick to go to level 12 until you're level 25. So you have to go one by one. I 
Next one, clear stage four, Felhins Gate. Alright guys, so for today that's it. We are stopping right now at the win a chest with attack percentage. Basically because it's very long and it's very late right now. And I'm just feeling like I'm fading and I'm not going to be able to do the best content for you guys if I do. So, anyway, we're going to come back tomorrow with uh, clearing more. Trying to get to Arbiter as much as we can, try to get it cleared, try to level up our champs, and trying to get to clan boss and all the other content of the game. Anyway guys, thank you very much for being with me, and as always, I'll see you in the game.